Hi guys, good morning, welcome. I'm Eldrick Nikitoya. Welcome to my channel if you're watching this on YouTube. Welcome to my page if you're watching this on Facebook. Now, uh, it's been a privilege to be able to celebrate over a year with Business Network International, BNI, here in Kuching, Sarawak. And one of the things that I've been able to learn over the last, I think, uh, 16 months, or so, 18 months or so, is the importance of working on network. As Dr. Ivan Meisner, our chairman and founder, says, it's not net sleep, it's not net sit, it's not net eat, it's network. And network, our network really, is the foundation for our business growth. And it doesn't have to be limited to our immediate network. Through BNI, I will say through my chapter specifically in BNI Signature Chapter here in Kuching, Sarawak, I am privileged to be able to know over 30, close to 50 current and former members who own their own business or run their own business, who are professionals in their own right, example, uh, lawyers, accountants, as well as different visitors. Now, it begs us to ask, especially as we're entering the new year soon, do we have networking goals? In Dr. Ivan's book, uh, The 29% Solution, this one, if you happen to have a copy, in week one, he emphasizes on the importance of creating networking goals. As business owners, we have various goals. As professionals, we have many goals. Even as individuals, we have our New Year's resolution coming up. Some would want to have a I don't know, six pack for guys, uh, lose weight, get a new car, buy a new house, increase your income. So for business, we have uh, targets, we have our annual target, our monthly target, which we would like to accomplish, through which division, our how much cost we'd like to save. So what about networking, you see? And here, if I may cite him, it's creating networking goals is basically an uncommon application of a common knowledge. We create goals every now and then. We create quarterly goals. We create annual goals, resolutions. We have a destination which we want to go to. But what about networking? And funny enough, networking, word of mouth marketing, is one of the strongest and most profitable yet cost effective methods for any given business or professional to grow their business, whether locally, regionally, or internationally. So, networking goals. You know, when I joined BNI prior to our chapter launch in April last year, 2014, I just moved to Kuching from Miri. You know, I have no one here. I Well, besides relatives, I don't know many people here. When I came across the opportunity of attending BNI Pioneers launch in January 2014, I thought, hey, it's a good time, it's a good place for me to meet other people and grow my copywriting business at the time. But after joining Signature Chapter, I've grown to meet many wonderful entrepreneurs, many wonderful and inspiring professionals from various backgrounds, from various industries, and I'm really privileged for that. And I am grateful for every given chance. It comes to a point because you see, like any and like any shop, any like any brick and mortar retail store, you need visitors, you need guests, you need people to enter your store. Similarly, any BNI chapter. If we don't have visitors, you know, what's the purpose of us being there? We're trying to open up our networks to one another. We're trying to open up our ne networks to our members. More importantly, giving each other business, sharing knowledge, sharing resources. So coming back to networking, you know, I find myself having difficulties inviting qualified visitors, if you will, to the chat. Not just any Tom, Dick or Harry, qualified visitors who could potentially be a business partner to either myself or other BNI members. At one point, I can't find any more people. I'm not from Kuching. So I thought about it. You know, being in BNI, I've learned so much about working my network. But if I don't expand my network, how? what use can I be to my chapter, to my business, to myself? From there, I earlier this year, early 2015, I joined the Sarawak Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I joined the Dewan Usahawan Bumi Putra Sarawak. I've also joined the Malaysian Association of Professional Speakers. Why? Because I'd like to grow my network. 
Of course, it's a good thing if you can specify by how many people you'd like to grow your network to. But having a goal, example, joining your local chamber of commerce, is one, one way. And then why stop there? Why just join? Why not participate? You know, I'm privileged to be part of the 64th Annual Sarawak Chamber of Commerce and Industry Annual Dinner Organizing Committee because, you know, I applied what I learned in BNI and I'm looking forward to the dinner that's going to be organized this month and coming business networking sessions organized by the Sarawak Chamber of Commerce and Industry where I would love to help my committee members, the committee members responsible, to organize such an event, you know, having networking goals. So what about you? What about your business? Do you have a networking goal for your business? Or are you hoping that by chance something will happen? Are you hoping that by sheer luck you would be able to grow your business? There's one quote which I would like to share again from the book. One way to systemize and organize your approach to networking is to set measurable networking goals. How many people would you like to meet each week? How many business owners, or in the context of BNI, how many one-to-ones would you like to do with your members? What would you like to know about them? What would you like to share with them? And who would you like to be introduced? What constitutes a quality referral for you? Sharing it with your business partners in BNI, especially all of us who are applying the philosophy of Give Us Gain as a standard, it's a good time. It's a good opportunity, a good platform. So yeah, other goals here from the book, if you will. I will become a member of ABC Chamber by June 30th. Or I will achieve 30% increase in my annual referral business from networking in, say, a certain networking group by December 31st. What are your networking goals for next year? And how do you, from there, how do you plan to accomplish it? Do you have a structured word of mouth system in place for you? So that's all from me. I'm approaching my 10 minute mark. Once again, I'm Eldrick Tegatoya. I'm from BNI Signature Chapter here in Kuching Sarawak. I'm also the Managing Director of Converging CS Nyan Bahad, where we provide building materials, construction services, advertising, training and sourcing services to our clients. So I'd love to hear from you. Uh, do comment, leave a comment down below. And yeah, thank you for your time. Have a great year ahead. Have a great 2015 fourth quarter and have a wonderful 2016 planning session. Bye guys.